All right, the caterpillar stretch, otherwise known as the oh yeah, as my wife Christy always says. This is a dynamic movement. So you're using a lot of different muscle groups. Uh, so you are contracting muscles and relaxing muscles, but also stretching muscles. And uh, you're gonna feel some of the ligaments pulling a little bit. Don't worry, it's all good. <laughs> it's a full body movement. It can be incorporated into workouts. You'll also note that in the various outdoor slash indoor dynamic warm-ups, I also incorporate this movement. I love it. It's done wonders for my hips, my back, and everything, but it is a learn movement. It's something you sort of have to work within your own ranges of motion so you can do it. So even though I might be doing it a certain way in this demonstration, through this video, it doesn't mean that you have to do it picture perfect. We have to work within your ranges, but over time, it will get closer and more fluid, and ultimately you'll start to feel more confident with the movement as well. How do we want to start? Well, we want to start with their feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Again, I see some people do this and they have their feet right underneath their hips. Pretty remarkable. Uh, they obviously have very mobile hips and joints, more mobile than me. I, I tend to go a little bit wider than my hips when I start. From here, I'm going to hinge at the hip. I hinge forward, trying to keep my legs fairly straight. You're going to feel a pull in your glutes, so your butt, as well as your hamstrings in particular and behind the knees, down in that insertion point where the hamstring meets. And here I'm going to just let my hands dangle forward and if you have the flexibility and the mobility, you're gonna reach down and touch those toes or grab the toes. If you cannot reach your toes, don't stress. Go to just where you get it comfortable, a comfortable stretch. From here, you're going to then pull yourself down into a squat position. All right, weight on the heels. So you wanna make sure that you've got weight in the heels. You'll notice that my elbows are inside, pressing out on my knees, okay? Once you're comfortable and you've held this for two or three second count, I'm going to then lift my hips back up while maintaining the grip. And once I've got my hips fully up, I'm now going to walk my hands along the floor coming down into a cobra stretch, like you'll often see in yoga. Gonna hold for a two or three second count. I usually like to look right up, so I get a bit of a neck stretch as well. After three or four seconds, you're then going to lift the hips up, walk the hands back, touch those toes, stand upright, a little bit of a back bend. That is one repetition. <laughs> do as many as the workout calls for, typically in the warm up. I'm recommending you do four or five of those, sometimes 10. I love this movement. It, it raises my core temperature. It gets me thinking, focusing on my balance. And just to give you an idea on speed or pacing for this movement, so I'm just gonna do one that has the same way I would normally do it. Sometimes it changes a little bit because I'll hang out in that squat position just to open my hips and loosen them up. But when I'm actually doing it throughout the warm up or as a workout calls for it, this is typically how it goes. Hinging forward, grabbing my toes, pausing. Come down, pause for a one, two, three second count. Lift those hips up. Now walk my hands out. Cobra stretch. And I hold this for another three second count. I then lift my hips up, walk the hands back, touch the toes, stand up, bit of a back bend. It's a full body workout slash warm up and stretch. So it's a great, great movement and it doesn't require a lot of space. So it's one to practice, start to incorporate. You're gonna see it pop up from time to time in some of the workouts. So get comfortable with it. Cool?